Yo, my name is Nick. I have my master's in exercise physiology and I'm also an online fitness coach. And today we will be going over the third edition of Quest Protein Bar Smasher Pass. I have got my hands on the last, I would say five or so flavors that I haven't reviewed yet. And I did so by a great deal by Joshua Bogus, Bogus sent me. They expire in the next couple months, but they're only a dollar a piece. So I would highly recommend anyone that needs something that's quick and on the go to buy this because a dollar for each Quest bar is an absolute steal. It is a variety pack though. You don't get to choose which ones you want. But in lieu of that, I am able to do a Smasher Pass for $5. Can't beat it. I also review other people's recipes and make my own low calorie, high protein recipes. So if you're into that kind of thing or these reviews, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and let's get into it. I'm gonna start this with the maple waffle. Surprisingly, this was one of the better ones that one bar made, but they called it something different. Man, this one's real sticky. And all you guys tell me to heat these up, I can't do two taste tests of each bar or else the fiber overload on my stomach would be unreal and I'm not looking to blow out my back bathroom. So each one of these I'm gonna eat half of as is. There's a lot of stickiness, almost like caramely maple syrupy notes to it. it. Has a really great texture, really great smell, nice and soft. Chunks of what almost look like waffle in between or wafer. Let's try it out. Got an overwhelmingly maple bite to it. You get the texture differences between the bar itself and then the crunchy pieces like the wafer pieces, like I said, and then also the chunks of maple syrup throughout really add to this bar. This is better than the maple glazed donut one bar, which has a very similar taste, but with the different textures and tastes with each bite, this one wins out for sure. Now, I wouldn't wake up in the middle of the night and drive 30 minutes to go get it and smash that hard which would be a three, but I'm right in between. I definitely smash and in between the three mark. So I say this is a good 2.5. The standard is set for the rest of these Quest bars. We got 190 calories and that's the big difference. Like this tastes even better than the one bar and the one bar is 30, 40, 50 more calories per bar. For you Nutella lovers, we have chocolate hazelnut. We shall see if it actually tastes like chocolate hazelnut or Nutella or not. I've never tried to recreate the flavor, but I'm sure by now they have some sort of hazelnut powders or something, like the peanut butter powders that they have, so you can have a lower calorie version. And if they do, please let me know, because I need to start making some recipes with Nutella. So we got nuts throughout here. So it looks like they include real hazelnuts. Let's see, is this on a 200 calorie one? No, this one's 190 calories too, also 20 grams of protein. It has that typical chocolate taste. There's also chocolate chips through it, which I didn't realize until two or three bites in. And there's nuts in it as well. I do like the texture differences, but it literally just tastes like a chocolate bar with chocolate chips in it, like a typical protein chocolate bar. Eh, it's definitely not bad. I wouldn't buy a 12 pack of it though. I would buy a 12 pack of that maple waffle. That is really good. So a one is like I wouldn't smash unless it was like the last thing in the house. A two is I definitely smash. This is like right in between. I would say like above the halfway level, like 1.7. It's good, it's not great though. Next, caramel chocolate chunk. Love caramel. I would imagine they have it throughout kind of like they do with the maple syrup in the maple bar. So I'm very excited for this. Hopefully it's just not a typical chocolate tasting bar with a little bit of caramel in it, but we shall see. Another 190 calories. I think anything that's 20 grams of protein and 200 calories is good for a protein bar. I think that was kind of Greg's criteria too. He didn't say that, but it kind of seemed that way. About a gram of protein every 10 calories. What's interesting is I thought this bar would be dark. It's actually like a caramel color, almost like a cookie dough kind of color. Has also 
texture in it, which I don't even know. It almost looks wafer-like with chocolate chips, caramel chocolate chunks, so that makes sense. But I don't know what the, there's like a white wafer-ish part. It's almost like the maple syrup or maple waffle. So let's see. Almonds, okay, so there must be almonds in here. I don't know how caramel chocolate chunk has anything to do with almonds, but I can't figure out what it is, but on here it does say that there's almonds. It is one of the top ingredients in here. I think it has a kind of fake, kind of good fake caramel taste. It really doesn't taste artificial to me until I'm like swallowing and it's very small and it goes away right away. Like I don't have it in my mouth anymore. But for trying to recreate caramel with chocolate with for some reason almonds, I would say it's very really good. 100% would smash. I wouldn't say it's better than the maple waffle, but it's like right below it. We're gonna go 2.4. I always say the two best for last. I wasn't sure if I would want to try a cinnamon roll or blueberry muffin first, but the donut has by far been my favorite one thus far. If you've watched the older Quest reviews, hmm. hell yeah. So I'm gonna save the muffin like the donut for last and we'll go with the cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll shouldn't be too hard. You try to make it taste a little bit like uh, icing, a little bit cinnamony. As long as it's soft, it should be good. Oh, this one's 180 calories, even better, and still 20 grams of protein. It looks like they kind of interchange the same ingredients throughout. Oh, wow. Cause it looks like there's almonds in this one too. Let me see if the thing says that. Yeah, there's almonds in cinnamon roll too. Like I don't understand why add almonds, which is just adding calories when a cinnamon roll doesn't even have almonds in it. That doesn't make any sense. Like if it tastes great without the almonds, why add the almonds? But what's interesting, because I would guess it's like 160 calories without the almonds. What's interesting about this one, it has like a quote unquote icing on it. And it's almost like caramel. I was going to say they're interchanging the ingredients too, because there's caramel in cinnamon roll, which doesn't make any sense. There's almonds in this bar, which doesn't make any sense. But I mean, it's on an assembly line. They're trying to pump a bunch of these out. They have like 20 different protein bars. So I get it. But I also don't get why add something to a flavor that doesn't have it in the first place. Almonds, cinnamon roll, doesn't make sense. Nonetheless, it does smell good. It does look good. And I'm not complaining with extra caramel because I love caramel. I was about to get buck wild because I thought it was really good. And the first bite, super flavorful, covered my whole mouth with cinnamon, very sweet. And then all of a sudden the flavor kind of like just appears. When you compare it to the bars I already had, they're not as good, but this is definitely smashable. I'd be in between buying a 12 pack of this though. I'm not really sure. If there was like a variety pack, even if there was six of one and six of the cinnamon roll, I'd do it. So I would say this is right on that dot, like 2.0. I'd smash, but I wouldn't keep it around for that long. My highly most anticipated blueberry muffin. Somehow they made a bar taste almost identical to a donut besides the texture, because how do you make a fiber bar have the same texture as a donut? But everything else lined up perfectly. I still have about eight of them over there and I bought three boxes since I've done that review. Nonetheless, or with that being said, I guess, I have high hopes for this, really do. Also 190 calories in this one, 20 grams of protein. So the only one that had 180 was the cinnamon bun. See, like this one expires February 11th. So I have essentially two weeks to eat it before it quote unquote expires, but I'm not worried about that. See, this one has almonds in it too. Quest, please tell me why you put almonds in a blueberry muffin. It's not necessary. Cinnamon bun, not necessary. Caramel chocolate chunk, not necessary. All right, so this one does have, it looks like almost dried blueberries throughout. They might have dried it beforehand, not sure. And then you also got the almonds in here, probably just for texture, I'm guessing. But it looks scrumptious, smells scrumptious, smells like blueberries, it does smell like a blueberry muffin. There's blueberries all the way across this. Every bite I'm taking, even after I take the initial bite, has blueberry notes in it. The sugar's there. They put the almonds, I think, for the, the texture. So it's all there. And it has like a strip of what almost looks like cinnamon. Yeah, dried blueberries, cocoa butter. It must be cocoa butter. But it almost has a strip of that in there. So there's literally flavor throughout the whole 
bar. So as soon as I take a bite, it's not like one part of my mouth has flavor and another part doesn't, it's throughout. They are really damn good at making baked goods taste like what they should, I guess besides the cinnamon roll. But this one, on point, wow. That one was the best one of the day. I gotta try another bite of this maple syrup since that was the best one. I was gonna say by far, but I'm not 100%. Let's see, I have these back to back. All right, I can't say by far. That one is the best one of the day though. It's not chocolate sprinkled donut. However, it is also above the maple waffle. So I'm gonna give this a solid 2.7. I almost wanna give it a 2.8, 2.7 though. 100% would buy a 12 pack of this, wouldn't think twice about it. On sale, not on sale. This one is the best one. Maple waffle is not far behind and this one's also super delicious. Exerciseforcheatmeals.com or the same for my Instagram if you are interested in fitness coaching. If there's any other bars you would like me to review since I've exhausted every single Quest bar, please let me know and you know there will be a recipe coming up next. But until next time, I will see you in that next one. Do see.